Now I'm pretty much sure like you are comfortable in writing the basic classes in object oriented programming. Now we will cover another aspect here that is the class members. While defining a class whatever you create inside a particular class are the class members. But on the basis of their memory location you can simply classify those class members as in the two parts that is the instance members or class members or you can also call them non-static and static members. Let's discuss quickly what are they. Suppose you are creating a class and you find like some features are common for all the instance of the particular class. For example, if I will talk about cars, four wheel is a common feature for all. So what should I do? I should make that static, that is the class members and in that situation all the instance will share that particular value of static and next is non-static or instance members that is a specific property for each and every instance or object for example the color of a car that may vary from one to another all right so let's go practically to see some more differences in static and non-static members of a class now in this example, it's a very similar example as out of the previous one, but here I have taken two types of members. First is int marks which is non-static and the another one is marks which is static. So as in the introduction we have discussed, like whenever you talk about a non-static member, it actually belongs to a particular instance while the static one belongs to a particular class. That simply means like doesn't matter how many instances you are creating a, for a particular class but they all will share the same value of this static member. You can create methods, properties, data members and so many things inside a class as a class member. But on the basis how you want to access that you can make it either static or non-static in the very same way. So in this example as you can see I have taken a class test the scored marks will be different for the different attendees but the maximum marks for a particular test is going to be same for all. So on that particular basis I have assigned it as static. And here as well you can see like whenever I am calling it I am writing it test.maxmarks. I can directly write max marks but just to make it more clear and readable I have assigned the class, class name right before the static member name and here I am calling this. So this will point out the instance while class name will point out the particular static member. If I talk about the memory allocation of static and non-static members. So unless and until you will create the instance of a particular class the non-static member or I should say the instance member are not going to have any memory space right there. But as soon as the class gets initialized or I should say that JIT just in time compiler comes inside a particular class to make the execution all the static members of that particular class gets the memory and they are good to use. That is the reason whenever you create a main method inside a class it is always static. Why? Because as soon as JIT will come inside this main method must be in the memory and should be able to be executed so that we can start the execution of our program. And right here if I will not initialize it here and I try to initialize it inside the main you will see like whether I have created the instance or not but I can access this max marks and can assign any value to it. That simply means like static members are nowhere related to the instance and will be initialized in the memory as soon as the class will get loaded.